It goes by many names, but it's best known as La Rose, or the Pink Lake. The water turns color in the sun thanks to an algae which produces a red pigment. The algae is attracted by the lake's high salt content, and the locals too. If they can extract the salt, they can sell it. So thousands work here. Among them, 30-year-old Sedu Tore. I apply sheer butter to protect me from the salt, and then I come and harvest. Given the conditions of the lake, I can only work for three days a week. I work from 8 in the morning to about 4 p.m. to get about one ton of salt, and that's how I can sell the salt for about 15 euros. It's about 1.30 and Lake Rose is slowly turning pink. Sedu has filled his boat to about halfway. He says that once his boat is submerged to about this level, that's when he knows he's collected a ton of salt. Huh? Everything is done by hand to preserve the environment. No, the lake is divided into two. We work on one side for six months and then move to the other side and work there for another six months. Just as well, the lake is being considered by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. When Sedu gets to the shore, the salt is offloaded by women. Fatu Bare has worked as a collector since she was a girl. I usually don't get paid in money. They pay me in salt, and that is what I sell and make money from. The salt is packed and sold to neighboring countries such as Gambia and Guinea-Bissau. Some is exported still further, to Europe, where it's used in spas. It's an industry that relies on traditional ways for its very survival, and it's a tough business. Even so, it's hard to think of a more beautiful work environment. Catherine Omwando, CGTN, Lake Retba, Senegal.